Hey, good morning, you all. Uh, of course, you all are paying attention to the, the great border numbers this month. We're still at a crisis level. Last month with 64,000 apprehensions, uh, you have to go back five years to find a single month that has a higher number than that. And yet, this is the lowest month in five. We're very glad to see the progress made because of really many programs put in place by the president and his administration. And we're going to keep moving forward in that direction. A uh, great trend line, still a crisis number. And with Congress back in session, we'd really like to see some help closing some of the major loopholes that are driving this crisis at the border. Border numbers this month, we're still at a crisis level. Last month with 64,000. Uh, I can't give you any assurances. That's for the president to decide. Uh, I know those discussions between various elements of the administration are ongoing, as well as input from Congress. Uh, typically one congressional or senatorial representative at a time right now. And uh, by the end of the month, that'll be decided, of course, September 30th. Uh, but there's, there's, we're, there's no closure to that at this point that I know of. And we're going to keep moving forward in that direction. Uh, great trend lines. Uh, well, it's going to vary. Uh, obviously, we have, we're, we're, we're very close physically to the Bahamas, and so you've got a lot of family relations already there. So there are visa opportunities that exist. Uh, that might not exist if this happens somewhere else in the world. So you're going to see a mix of humanitarian and um, what I'd just call ordinary visas to, to deal with getting through this short time period, along with, and, and let's acknowledge, Border Patrol and the Coast Guard, USAID, we've got U.S. government agencies that have already um, uh, moved over to, uh, to the Bahamas and done amazing work already. To bring Bahamian people to the United States. Is it a humanitarian mission? We do vetting for everybody who comes through this country and we will vet anyone, uh, whether they be looking to come in via humanitarian means or what I'll call more traditional visa approaches. And we don't take anything for granted. USAID, we've got U.S. government agencies that are involved. Can I?